welcome to the Charcoal Barbecue Kitchen where everything is cooked with charcoal. Today I'm going to be cooking up a flank steak. I don't often see this piece of meat for sale, but I've seen it advertised a few times this year. I bought a package of two and it's a pretty big flat steak with a distinct grain running from left to right in it. So you definitely want to cut it against the grain once it's done cooking. And I'm going to prepare it for marinating, even though I don't find that marinating really tenderizes it very much. Uh, it definitely provides flavor to this cut of meat. It's not too bad for tenderness, maybe a little bit tough. But if you cut it thin against the grain, it's fine. So I'm going to use pomegranate juice today, and I'm also going to use balsamic vinegar, which goes very well with this. I'm going to use some dried rosemary as well to provide some flavor and we're going to marinate this for about six hours in the fridge. So just make sure the steak is uh, folded up in the freezer bag and immersed in the marinade and the recipe will be below for that. Once it's done marinating just take it out and pat it dry and then you can use a rub on the surface of the meat to provide extra flavor for the crust. I use my universal thyme and rosemary rub. Recipe will be below as well. And then we're gonna get the lump charcoal grill fired up here. And we're just gonna develop the crust similar to anything else in my channel where I use an indirect direct setup like the French rack of lamb. You want to develop the crust and move the piece of meat away from the fire that needs to cook a little bit more in the center. So make sure your grill is really really hot to develop that crust. And then I also glaze it later with a barbecue sauce that I've made of 50% pomegranate juice, 50% craft barbecue sauce. And that provides more flavor for the crust and gives a nice glaze to the steak. And I'm doing a test cut here to see if it's done cooking which is sometimes easier than using a thermometer in these thinner cuts of meat, although it's not too thin. It's a little bit too red yet, so I'm gonna put it back on the grill. And now it's done. And I'm just looking how beautifully pink that is, and how juicy that is, and how lovely the crust is. And we're cutting that against the grain. Look at the juiciness there, folks. Wow. This is a very interesting uh, piece of meat. It has a different texture than some steaks, and it's really delicious, this recipe.